in 1996, Temecula celebrated the launch, the opening of their skate park. It only cost them $175,000 to build this skate park, but now the city is actually considering demoing the skate park and just taking it all out because it's so bad. So that's a pretty expensive process. Demoing a skate park out it takes a lot of red tape. There's a lot of construction. Today, I want to actually go out to the Temecula, see how bad this skate park really is for myself. I haven't been able to find anything online about like who designed it, who constructed it, who was a part of the actual building process. So today we're going to go check it out. Also, I might be picking up the mini ramp for the backyard. More on that in a little bit. In 800 feet, you will arrive at your destination. So the city added the skate park to their 2022 to 2006 capital improvement project. Now this project includes demolition and rebuild of the Ronald Reagan Sports Park, which we're at, I'll show you in a second, I'll give you a little tour, see how bad this place really is. Now, obviously the real question here is, did Temecula, the city, learn from the original skate park build? Like, are they just gonna do the same thing, waste tax dollars, or are they actually gonna get a good skate park? And there's some reasoning that I think there's questioning for this. I'll dive into it in a second, but first let's get a little tour and see how bad this skate park is. This is new, they actually added this on, I think it was 2016. Well, so we'll check out the pump jack too. I think, I'm pretty sure it's because BMXers really wanted a place to ride. They got a legit handrail on this skate park. Like, you can for sure like, catch people filming video park clips on this rail. Pretty rad. And what Woodside Homes is doing, they're taking on this whole project. So it's all like Summer Bend is like the little community that we're in right now. But I think that's problematic because they don't specialize in parks. There's one person in the skate park and we're in California where the, every skate park is jam packed. I think this park is one that's kind of uh, been inhabited by scooters and bikers. We'll get into that for, in a second. But the point that I'm getting at is like, if they build another facility for skateboarders and they don't go there, they're gonna be upset, but really it's on them because they're hiring a company that doesn't specialize in skate parks, which is a recipe for disaster. Yeah, with all that said, to be honest, if you skate long enough, a park like this is actually really fun. I haven't skated yet, I'm gonna get a session in right now, and then I'll give you some uh, kind of the kinks and the draws, the good and bad of the skate park, but that's something to be said. Like, if you enjoy skateboarding and you're good at it, Bad skate park can be really fun. However, that's not a good skate park because at the end of the day, a skate park should be somewhere where people can go, learn how to skate, low impact, and just enjoy themselves and have a good time. It shouldn't be a training facility, which this, like how crazy it is, it almost is a training facility in a way because it's so hard to skate. Well, I don't know, I gotta go skate it. It's official. Man, I've skated a lot of really, really bad skate parks. I've probably skated over a couple hundred skate parks. I've been skating longer than I have it in my lifetime. This is the worst skate park I've ever skated. Hands down, I'll tell you why. One thing right away, kind of goes to my point earlier, why you don't want like sidewalk workers making skate parks or like home designers making skate parks because they do things in a very standardized way. Right here you see a seam, right? That's, a, that's like a joint seam that they do on sidewalks. They do that like general construction so that the concrete doesn't crack. The problem with that is, I'll show you. They did it here too. 
at the bottom of the ramp. They did it on every single part of the transition everywhere in the skate park. So every seam over there, like they're thick. Like look how thick this is. This is like two fingers wide. You hear the da dun da dun da dun. That's because of those cracks. And it's like, the craziest part is at the bottom and at the top. And that's kind of when you need good setup. Like it makes your feet move around. So it makes you slow down, makes your feet move around. It's harder to set up in general. How the seams mesh together, how they blend. It's an important part you can't forget about. It's like if you're building a home and like you didn't build the roof right, the whole home's gonna get flooded. So it doesn't matter. So yeah, that is the biggest problem is all the seams and the cracks everywhere slow you down. This one's three fingers, almost four at some areas. And that's the seam in between the transition that you would be rolling in on. So you have to roll over this to get into there. Sometimes you're even rolling over that when you're doing tricks. Ultimately, what that means is that this skate park is really dangerous. It's not skate friendly at all. I can see this like not being a problem for bikers because they can roll right over, they have huge tires. But for skateboarding, we have you know, we're talking about 56 millimeter wheels and those are big wheels. It's like there's a sidewalk in the middle of the whole skate park. Now, obviously the obstacles are pretty bad as well, but to be honest, I think there were some good designs, some like good uh, abstract concepts, like over there where there's that long yellow kind of uh, parking block on top of the transition. It was a good idea what they had. Unfortunately, it was executed horribly. And that's the thing. Sometimes when you have these people that aren't skate park designers, I think it can be really good. They add a fresh perspective without like being influenced by typical skate parks and standardization. However, the execution is so bad that it's just like unskatable really. Like you can hang up just going up and down. Another thing where there's like cracks on the bottom of where the curb is to the transition. So pretty scary. Obstacles can be really fun. However, I feel like I'm getting bored pretty quick. Like I hit all the things with the curves on top. After that, the banks are just so mellow at the top. They like round off. So like getting up onto the curb or awling onto a trick or doing flat ground tricks or not flat ground tricks, flip tricks at the top of the bank. It seems like really hard because it just mellows out at the top. So again, some of the ideas I think are actually pretty cool. You should say execution is horrible because they don't understand how like shapes work essentially and transitions work with skateboarding. Like everything needs to blend together. Like there can't be this like very like hard, there's a bank here, there's a bank here, then there's another bank over here and everything is just like kind of uh, very, rudimentary essentially and it just doesn't flow very well the issue that temecula was facing is that bmxers really wanted to ride here but apparently their liability insurance didn't cover that so bmxers couldn't ride here so what they did i believe is built a pump track they built a pump track right next to the skate park to sort of facilitate the bmxers but that's something they should be considering right now right like this skate park is probably better for BMXers because of just the way it is, the way it was built, the way that it was designed, everything about it is probably better for BMXers at the end of the day. So they should keep it, give it to the BMXers and then build a skate park. Cause the thing is, if they go build a skate park and demo this one or replace it, they're gonna have the same situation where BMXers wanna ride it and there's not enough space for people in the area. So my opinion, keep this one, build another skate park. Let's go check out the pump track. That's a pretty sick pump track. The thing about a pump track is that it, it's a lot easier to get right than a skate park. Like there's a lot less air. There's not as much like expertise that's really required. It's just some like bumps, you know, if they kink it up, that's all right. I'm gonna roll around it a couple times. It looks pretty crazy. It is asphalt, so I wonder if it's super slow. Let's see. That is so much fun. Holy crap, we need more pump tracks. I had a blast on that. That's a that's a leg workout. It's a good way to warm up and get sore really quick. Can't do much tricks, just ollies. They actually have this like wood back there. I've seen people bring signs and do tricks on that. Might have to come and do that. This is my I feel like the locals should drive the decisions when it comes to like these recreational facilities that are gonna last for like, excuse me gonna last for years and years and years so like the bmxers should be allowed to have that area like right now i see there's like three or four bmxers that just pulled up but anyways i really wanted to check out this park it is horrible really bad skate park probably the worst i've ever skated it kind of looks fun like mega ramp transition skater kind of fun but no it's just bad now i need to uh, go see if i can pick up this mini ramp for the backyard mm -hmm. 